Hello, I want to talk about the elephant in the room. Buckle up, (laughs) because the elephant in the room is the way you think about your dog. That unspoken rule in your head that your dog is always wrong and that they need to change. That what they're doing is wrong. And that mindset is simply linked to your ego, your self-pride and your self-admiration. You're the human. Your dog's wrong, of course, that must be the way that things have to go. But when you actually drop that mindset, that unspoken rule that you have in your head that it's your dog that needs to change, their behaviour needs to change, you actually calm your mind from all of that white noise and all of the judgement and the blame, the frustration, the anger and the resentment towards your dog that that mindset brings. You drop all of that. And instead, you're actually able to see with awareness and you act consciously, in a conscious way, not compulsively. And ways that you would act compulsively or react to your dog would be to yell at them, to shut up if they're barking, never mind that they might have been in the backyard with nothing to do and no social contact with anybody for eight or nine hours, or maybe you have been home and you've completely ignored your dog for all of that time. So that mindset of expecting your dog to change their behaviour when your dog has nothing that is physically rewarding and mentally rewarding from their point of view is a little bit absurd. Other ways to act compulsively is to intimidate your dog or punish your dog in other ways. Physically put your hands on your dog to force them to comply with what you want them to do. Why is this so important? It is so important because that mindset of having an unspoken rule that your dog's always wrong, that it's your dog that needs to change, is so destructive for dogs. It leads to surrendered dogs. It leads to neglected dogs. It leads to abandoned and abused dogs. And all we have to do is look at the statistics for dogs that are surrendered to shelters across the world. Not just for their behavioural problems, but just because of neglect and abandonment and because humans have had a mindset that the dog needs to change, that it's the dog's fault, not the human's responsibility. It's even more important when we think about the way dogs have been manipulated over the last ten and a half thousand years at least through the process of domestication, selective breeding for their temperament, their coat colour, any other thing you want to think of. Adapting dogs to fit into humans' lives. We're now even more aggressively selecting dogs for other things. So they adapt even more to humans' lives. Yet not once are we adapting ourselves and considering our dogs' lives and changing our mindset for our dogs. So surely it can't be too much trouble for you to simply change the way you think about your dog. Shift away from your own ego, that own unspoken rule that you might have in your head that is telling you that it's always your dog's fault, your dog's always wrong, your dog needs to change. And simply just take some time and sit with your dog. Be with your dog and you'll find that you'll actually be grateful for your dog and the joy that they bring to you in your life every day. And that feeling of joy, appreciation and gratitude is the mindset of a guardian because it's based around empathy and compassion. And the mindset of a guardian is simply having the mindset of wanting to protect and defend another from a psychological as well as physical harm.